Good afternoon, beautiful people. It's a beautiful day in Fort McMurray. Look at it. Blue sky that I love so much. It is so beautiful. Just going for a little walk around my house again. Like I did yesterday. Up down the roads. So I went down to see my doctor this morning. My ex husband came and gave me a ride with my daughter downtown. I appreciate that so very much. Took me to see my doctor and my doctor, she came in, she sat down and she said, so are you finally ready for your insulin? You're going to finally take it? I said, yes, ma'am. I told her about what happened and I couldn't see. And uh, so I had to go make an appointment with the eye doctor to get checked out, but unfortunately, can't see, can't get in to see him till 21st of November, <laughs> unless there's a cancellation. So, yeah, is what they say, folks. So, tonight, um, I went over, she gave us a prescription, and we went to the pharmacy, and the pharmacist instructed my daughter on how to give it to me. So tonight when my daughter gets home from work, she has to administer the insulin. So please keep us in your prayers for that. It's a very scary thing. So this morning I was at uh, 8.3, which means it's going down, so that's good. My mother, I know she's trying to do her best to help me, oh, but, but she can't cook for beans. <laughs> Everything is blah, blah. I bought home a can of uh, soup. And it was the soup that you you just open up the can and you put it in the the in the on the stove to boil and cook and you don't add no water while well, she added the water so it was bland bland bland. Ugh. Yesterday she cooked ham and it was as dry as anything. <laughs> oh my my poor mother she's. She used to cook once upon a time really good, and I don't know what happened to her. Oh, my. Being a diabetic ain't no fun, I tell you. I'm thankful for her help, though. And everyone's help around. It's uh, really not easy when you can't see clearly. And it's very hard for a person like myself who's really independent and um, so used to doing things on their own to depend on other people. It's not easy. You always feel like you're imposing on them. Oh, oh my, she's such a beautiful day. Look at that clear blue Alberta sky. Oh, I love it. Can't go too far. Can only go a little ways. So 
So at the end of this video, you'll see a picture. You'll see a little bit of video come of me coming up from downtown. You can relax. It's not me driving. Um, my ex-husband was driving. I was just pointing the camera <laughs> out the window. And yes, he has um, uh, a broken windshield too, so please forgive me. <laughs> it is what it is, eh, folks? Everything these days costs so much more money, right? Money for everything. So, so much to keep going. But, you know, when life gives you troubles, you just got to keep on chucking. You got to keep pressing forward, right? Got to keep going and just keep pressing forward. Don't allow the devil to pull you down because that's what he wants to do. He wants to discourage us all. And uh, we just got to keep looking to God above and... I, I was, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't see the TV, but I could listen to it. And it was the story of Elijah and the widow. And when there was a great famine in the land of Israel, and um, it was a testimony of fate. And uh, God told uh, Elijah to go to this certain widow's house and uh, the widow she just had enough flour and oil to make one last meal for her and her son and the, he told her he said uh, you make a meal for me he said please feed me and uh, he said your wall, everything is going on and there's famine in the land. He said, you won't run out of flour and you won't run out of oil. And um, he, she took him on his word. And uh, he's told her, God will provide. And um, so she made him a meal out of uh, what she had there. And sure enough, there was still flour and oil left to make something for her and her son. And she gave him the first, the first of it. And uh, when she went to make for her son and herself, there was enough food. And uh, there was enough flour and oil. And um, it continued that way for the whole uh, the duration of the famine. She always had enough to provide that day. So, you know, folks, when we're going through a hard and tough time, I mean, I know the past couple of days I've been really worried, worrying about finances and, and the like of that. I mean, you know, you get one month behind your you're fooled up, right? And, uh, but I believe this was, um, a message not only for me, but for anyone else who's out there that we just got to trust God. God didn't say, you know, <laughs> riches and buy, or, you know, go out and get new cars and stuff like that, but he provides us what we need. And it could be a daily provision. It mightn't be a, a yearly thing. It could turn into that. I don't know. But we have to. He says, uh, he'll provide for us, right, daily. And, you know, you look at the sparrows, right? How the birds in the air, God provides for them every day. Right? 
and uh, he'll provide for you and he'll provide for me. So we just have to keep trusting God for his uh, provisions through the difficult times. Keep our faith in God Almighty and when the old devil comes and comes at you and could be the wee hours of the morning, you know, because when you're overwhelmed with stuff, that's when the enemy likes to attack. And, uh, you know, we just need to call out to God and he will provide, right? And he'll calm our spirits. Uh, years ago, I had to have a, a surgery. Uh, I ended up having to have a hysterectomy and uh, I had a tumor that was uh, the size of a huge Christmas ham that was growing inside of me. And I was really scared. And uh, petrified, actually. And I went down into the operating room and they were all talking. And uh, I started humming uh, a little chorus that we sang in church. And you have to forgive me, I'm not the best singer in the world, okay? Uh, but I want to leave you with this chorus today. It's... Um, it goes like this, it goes, I claim the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary. Those precious blood stains were made there just for me, for all my sin, all my sickness, and my pain. When I need healing, I claim those precious blood stains. I was humming this as they were trying to uh, get me set for surgery. And uh, the anesthesiologist, when he was trying to do whatever he had to do, uh, he came, he, he slapped it all down. He said, I, I can't do this right now. I think he was, I don't know why he was a minister. <laughs> But uh, he said, I can't do this now. He said, when she's out, he said, we'll do it. And uh, later he came up to my room when I was awake. And he said to me, he said, what were you humming? He said, uh, there was such a presence there in that operating room. He said, I've never felt nothing like it ever in my life. He said there was just something there. He said I, I couldn't do what I had to do until I put you out. And I said, well, I was just singing and praying to God to help me get through this. And uh, he said, well, he said, I've never, ever in all my years, he said, ever felt what I felt in that operating room. And I'm going to tell you, folks, it was nothing but the hand of God. So I'm going to say the chorus one more time. For anyone who's going through anything, and, and forgive my singing because I'm no singer. I don't claim to be, and I'm not. Goes, I claim the blood that Jesus shed on Calvary. Those precious blood stains were made there just for me, for all my sin, all my sickness, and my pain. When I need healing, I claim those precious blood stains. I hope anyone who needs healing today 
that you keep singing that over and over because God will heal you. And I know he's going to heal me from all this. <sighs> anyway, folks, it's uh, plus three here in Fort McMurray today. Beautiful day. I want to thank you for listening to the sound of my voice. And uh, thank you for your prayers. It means so much to me. Um, as I say in all my videos, uh, you're married, you have a good spouse, love each other, forgive each other, okay? Forgive everyone of any wrongdoings, especially your spouses. Uh, protect your kids. There's so much coming at them in schools today. Please protect them. And if you have a friend today who you haven't seen for a while, call them up and say hello. And if you see someone who you don't know today while you're out and about, smile at that person and then greet them, say hello. You could be the very sunshine in your day. Anyway, folks, this is Shelly Delant from Shelly Delant Media. I wish everyone a wonderful and great day. Just keep loving each other. And I'm, and uh, anyone who's in the U.S. who's listening to the sound of my voice, please go out and vote tomorrow. It's so very important, right? Anyway, folks, take care. God bless, and uh, God willing, we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Okay? Have a great and wonderful evening, folks. Bye-bye.